Hey, it's Kathy here, and I want to talk about trigger links. There are so many things that you can do with trigger links. Any link you wish to track is what you're going to use trigger links for. And also, analyze those trigger links to see who's clicking on what. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use trigger links inside of high-level software. I want to show you six important things when it comes to creating and using trigger links. First, we're going to create a trigger link. Second, we're gonna create a custom value trigger link. Third, I'm gonna show you how to add the trigger link to your email and SMS snippets. Fourth, we're gonna talk about adding the trigger link to your email campaigns. And the fifth one we're gonna cover is how to use your trigger link to trigger an automation or workflow. And the final one is viewing your trigger link analytics. So let's get started. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a trigger link. Some ideas for trigger links could be Google reviews, Google instructions, maybe your social profile. A very popular one could be going to your calendar or even an unsubscribe link. Let's go ahead and create a link. All you've got to do is come into your marketing, your trigger links, and click on Add a link. When you click on add a link, you want to give your link a name and then you want to put in the URL for the name. Let's do a calendar and then we'll take the link of the URL of the calendar link and we'll add the URL to our trigger. And there we have it. We now have a trigger link for the calendar. And you can easily search your trigger links because as you start to use these, you're going to have more and more. So you'll see right here, I search the calendar and here's my calendar and my trigger link. At any time, you can always edit your trigger link or even delete your trigger link. Now that we've created a trigger link inside of trigger links, I wanna show you how to create a trigger link also using custom values. The reason why this is important is because a lot of times you might have promotions. Maybe you have promotions that are going first quarter, second quarter, third quarter, in which case I would go to your settings. Let's go into your custom values. And inside of your custom values, this is where we would create a new custom value. Again, we can give it that name and we can put in our link here. Then you hit create, and now I have a custom value for the same link. Let's go in and search this. And when I search the custom values, you'll see the calendar name, the custom value key, and the value, which is the URL. So we can easily copy this right here. I'll go ahead and hit copy. Let's go back to our trigger links, and we'll go back and the link and I can paste the custom value link there and I can call this calendar paste into the URL make sure that you don't have any spaces before or after and then hit save when I select to look for the trigger link for the calendar I have a calendar link that has a custom value and a calendar link that has a link to the URL creating custom values is really valuable when it comes to being able to just go into that custom value and change it and update it. First quarter promotion, second quarter promotion. Using custom links is great because that custom link can be easily changed without having to add multiple links. Now that we've got the trigger link set. Now what we want to do is we want to go to our template snippets. Now the snippets, these are the quick ones. So we can add a quick text and a quick email. When I create a text snippet, we'll call it calendar. Here is my calendar link. And so this is my text. Now here's the interesting thing about text. Normally in an email, you can highlight and add a hyperlink. In text, all you can do in the text is go to your trigger link, look for the calendar link that you just created, and you can add the calendar link and it'll create a link that goes right to your calendar. It will show that link because that is how it has to be done in text messaging. It's got to show the link inside of the SMS. So once you add your trigger link, then you can send a test or save and make sure that your trigger link is working properly. Now let's go into setting up an email template. And this is an email template snippet. So if I wanted this to be my calendar link and I wanted to say, here's my calendar, and I did the same thing, contact first name, here's my calendar link. What I could do in this one is highlight my calendar link, come over here to insert edit link, 
And when I click on the link, I can come all the way down here and you'll see the text to display, which it says, here's my calendar link. And then I want to pull that calendar link from the link list. So we would go to the calendar link, select OK, and in which case they don't see the link, they can only click on it. Once you save it, you'll have it in your message template snippets, and you'll be able to easily use that when sending that quick on-the-go mobile text or email. Now let's go into the email templates. Email templates are beautiful templates. We have a header, we have a footer. Let's go ahead and open this email. Now remember, we talked about custom values. So if you created a link using custom values and you created a promotional email here, all you'd have to do would be update the promotional link and you can leave your summer, spring, fall, and winter promotions and just change the link inside of your custom values. What we'd wanna do here is we're going to highlight any kind of word that we may use. Maybe it's also directions. We could type in directions. You need directions to our location or it's the promo link inside of the email. Once you type in your word, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here we're gonna hit the text link and you'll see right here, text to display, directions, and right down here where it says link list, this is where we would come in and we would find the link list. It creates a link URL and we hit save. All we've gotta do when we wanna edit this is go into either our trigger link or our custom value. Another popular use case is your unsubscribe. This is very popular and I really recommend creating a trigger link that goes to an unsubscribe page on your website. So when you go to the website, I can still track the links when it comes to people clicking it and see if they unsubscribe. All you've got to do is highlight your unsubscribe, select your link, select the trigger link that's named unsubscribe that you created that goes to the page of your URL and hit save. When it comes to setting up automations, you can use a trigger link to set up a trigger automation. So let's create a workflow. When you create a workflow, just create a workflow from scratch and we can call this our unsubscribe workflow or we could call it our directions workflow or we could call it our promotional workflow. This is where you create different workflows based on triggers or your custom value trigger link. So you would give your workflow a name and what we wanna look for is trigger links and we'll see right here, trigger link clicked. Now. Keep in mind, when we create our workflow, we haven't told it what trigger link, so we wanna make sure that we don't leave it here. So we wanna add the trigger, let's select the trigger link, then we select the trigger that we were looking for. Promo one, two, three, four, calendar, directions, or whatever it is. And then you just save your trigger. So if somebody clicks on this link, we can then add send an email, send a text, and you can create an entire workflow right from that trigger link. Now, the last thing to look at when it comes to trigger link is your analytics. This is going to allow you to track specific customer actions and trigger events based on when they clicked the link. So you'll see the trigger link name and you can see how many clicks were there. So you can select the date range here for this month, last month, last 30 days, this year, select that to analyze the data based on each promotion. So for example, if you were using the promo one, two, three, four, you might want to track and see how many people are clicking on your trigger link from that promotion. If you're using calendar booking, you want to see how many people are clicking on the calendar, maybe how many people are clicking on to get directions or other trigger links that you created. A quick recap, one, creating a trigger link, two, creating a custom value trigger link, three, creating a trigger link email or text snippet, four, add to your email templates, five, using trigger links to trigger an automation, and six, analyzing your triggers. And those are the steps and how easy it is to use triggers inside of high level. And that's how you use trigger links using high level software. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.